sign, and that's being by, by the producer or the hauler of that debris, whether or not it has been or not. In the case for, for Casella, they have a four or five part form you have to fill out. And it's exactly predicting. Um, that's something that has to be looked at uh, and reviewed, uh, or even a blank, or even asked for. So people producing this and hauling this stuff can look at those liabilities. Uh, which basically you're swearing that there's nothing has been in this debris, and if it is, it can be classified as typical construction debris. C and D. Uh, to be hauled to their site. They treat everybody the same, same but I don't think they're going to treat COVID any different than the rest of the folks. No, but they're going to treat habitat for humanity. They do did treat habitat for humanity different. Where other people good. have a tipping fee, we have never, they've always given it to us for nothing. That's great. That's been our past experiences. <coughs> So if, if you could get somebody who would like to make a motion later on, I have to recruit myself, but uh, I would hope you could find it in your hearts to support us. Um, what, what, what you speak of is an admirable cause. Now, before the board makes a decision, I would hope they would look into all elements of liability here. So that one way or another, the town doesn't get on the hook. I'm thinking asbestos, possibly. I, I don't know. I have been um, assured by Chad that there is no asbestos. I, I guess I don't want to play uh, detective here, I, but I want the board to. We checked with Chad the other day on the reasons why they would not allow that to be rebuilt. And it was the foundation, and I asked him specifically if there was any asbestos that he had found, and he said no. Is, is Chad qualified to make that call? I don't think so. <laughs> <Better be. laughs> he can't observe whether or not there's asbestos in roofing, the floor tile, or whatever. You can laugh all you want, but he's not. And I believe that's part of the process of getting permitted. Establishing if there is any hazmats in that building. Yeah, he's the one that's get the permit from. True. Yeah, we'll look into that. <coughs> Check in. Thank you very much. Okay, Chuck, thanks. Um, I guess, why am I getting a card answer? Um, petitioners to the board, does anybody got anything else they want to want to um, talk about? Go ahead. Hi, my name is Doug Mount uh, at 9137 Shire Road. I was there a month ago and we discussed a situation at 9151, my neighbor. Uh, dog issue. And the uh, second problem we had is, is the uh, uh, building the people were living in, the trailer, and then they got a shop there and living in, so on and so forth. Um, it appeared to me the dogs are gone. I don't know whether Chris took care of that, but, but it appears they're gone. And it also appears that uh, the people are gone. Now, I talked with Paul. Uh, he verbally told me that he told me I had to get out. So uh, right. I, I I'm, I'm kind of doing a follow-up. What I know is... Well, I'm going to give a, a follow-up in my report, but um, see, now you're going to talk about it. We can talk about it right now. Okay. Um, well, I, I want to know your end of it, I guess. Yeah, no, I called the... After you spoke last month, I the next... Next day, I called yeah. them up and told them get on this, and um, okay. they did. Right. And uh, they evicted those people living in the, the barn or whatever there, mm -hmm. and um, they got a. They said there's a red cross, red X on it. Okay, so, so they did condemn both. They buildings condemned both buildings. Okay. And um, but I, I then I sent the dog catcher in there, and he said, well, I didn't see any red X's, and he did um, ticket both of them for no license on their dogs. He was going to take the dogs, but he he wanted to know how our judge, Mr. Shaw, was because these guys um. Or all under um, court order there or something to, to clean that stuff up from like what three four months ago we did this all before. Well, you're, and well, they they had come through it and so they're gonna take that back to Mr. Shaw and say hey they're not doing their job and um do something about it. Okay, and so well, that's that's, that's, that's me upcoming. That, Paul told me that uh, they were gonna have to go, probably go after the owners of the property. Yes. Um. Yeah. Um. We we know who it is and okay. um. All right. And like, like I say, the guys are like taking off. They 
We don't know where they are. Okay. Um, right. So, and the dogs, you said the dogs are gone, huh, Chris? He, I haven't seen them. Um, my must neighbor be, told yeah, me must be get them. Chris, Chris found two dogs, and he, he gave them both tickets for, um, two tickets for right. no, no more thing. And that's coming <clears> up, <throat> that goes to court the 17th of okay. this month, next week. Okay. Yeah, next week, they're going to they're gonna have to face the judge on that. If, okay. if they show, you know, I, these, these people were leasing the property. Now, if obviously they're not going to be there any longer, so I assume what Paul was saying, the owner of the property is going to be liable to clean up the mess. Right, right. So is and, that um, what you're hearing? Is that what? That's what I've heard. Um, I okay. don't know who the owner is. Uh, it's uh, Mark Wright. Correct. Um, Correct. Um, there's, he's their next person to tap here, I guess, you know, okay. I, the, right. I think the, the guys who are there, they're cleared out, and, um, okay. um, oh, so. I'm like we're on the same page. It's yeah, no, I, it's working, it's not going fast, but it's working. No, I, I don't <laughs> expect it to go fast, I understand yeah, no, that. It's, it's working. I just want to kind of do a follow-up and see if we're on the same no, page. No, I was going to speak about it, yeah, okay. I, I, I did right. take care of it the next day, and, um, or I got the ball rolling anyway, and, um, I appreciate that, thank you very um, much. They're working on it, and I just talked to them again today because I, I talked to them a couple days ago there, and they were working on it. And, I, okay. and uh, I'm, I'm going to get a hold of Chris Austin again and just tell him to go down there and check it out again because okay. Chad, Chad said he has no problem with taking the dog. So, uh, All right. Well, I, I so haven't seen him. So put I, a little I, pressure on it, you know, here. Oh, okay. This is, this is ridiculous. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Chad. When the people don't take care of them. Going back. <laughs> you want to petition on something else or the no, same I'm subject? I want to okay. ask a question on what uh, same you're subject. talking about. The, the doctor just said that there were two dogs there that were not licensed. Right. I'm not sure if he found the dog. I don't know if he dogs found the dogs and people or just dogs. I don't know how it worked. He's what? going to come back and confiscate them, but then he, then he thought maybe the people would be back, so he was holding out on that. But now that... He didn't realize that the building was, had been condemned because if it's condemned, you can't have anything there. And um, well, so he was. Two dogs there. There still is. Been, I don't know, but if there are, I think so. if he didn't take them, and people didn't leave with them, they may be locked in one of those. Well, he said they're healthy. He, when he checked on them, the dogs were healthy. He said somebody's taking care of them. But, uh, well, what would they be eating for the last month? If somebody yeah, stopping it and throwing up something, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't answer that because I don't no, I know. know. But, I think, I think maybe something but I can call Chris back and say, go down and check it out again. And they're they're evicted, so they should, nobody should be there. So come and get them. I think you know that's that's my thought. But or talk to them anyway. So all right, yeah, it's it's working, but like I say, it's slow. Maybe send the sheriff with them so the sheriff could look in the building and see if there's anything inside the buildings, living or not. <laughs> or if she's concerned about the dogs being locked right. in there. Yeah, well, I, we could. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what Chris wants how we call Chris wants to handle. Yeah, he's, he's, he was wanting to talk to the judge Shaw and see. Really, he couldn't go in and look around. No. Probably not. Um, yeah, so, but he's. Good like idea. say, uh, we're, we're bringing yeah. Judge Shaw on this because they. He's already had, they had their marching orders three, four months ago and get this stuff done and it's not happening. So, uh, so they're in contempt of court, technically. So. Okay. Okay, we'll move on. Um, 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 Tyway, Jeffrey. All right. For the month of January, plowing and sanding, all in some more stone dust and onesies for our salt mix. Seems to be disappearing quickly. Um, we took the 2012 450 down to the Blairs. They had it for a couple of days. Some problems with the urea on it. Wasn't working. Uh, started hauling some more pressure runs for our summer road project. Come in one Monday morning and found the water spraying all over the shop. Main water supply that comes up to the floor broke, all rusted out, so we replaced the water line. And mixed up some more salt for a pile. Oh, uh, can I stuck it there? Yep. How are we doing on salt supply? We got all we can get this year. We got our allotment. We got our allotment, and um, there's none that we have. Well, we can get it, but the price doubles. <laughs> of course. Um, 
But you think we're all right? As far as I think supply, right. we'll yeah. make it. We'll do all right. Because I know, like the school there, they're they're going to Lowe's now and getting it. They're they're the Lowe's don't have it either, so they're 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 begging. So um, yeah, we, salt's getting tight. We've got some left in the salt water now. Okay, good. We should be good. Hopefully, we're over. Yeah. <laughs> Start piling our filling up over the covert. <clears throat> Did some service work on the small truck work it and on the plow. Had some issues with oil freezing up in the plow itself. Um, I think I got the parts for the rack for the pickup for the light. All that's on the truck. Did our regular service and washing equipment and maintenance. I have one more question. Where are you washing equipment at? In the shop. Oh, inside? Okay. Can hard to wash it outside. I say it's, it's, it's kind of <laughs> a little stiff right now. All right, makes a little sense. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jeffrey. Any questions? Um, um Tom Clark. Uh, can we interrupt for a minute? Jeff, let's talk about his inventory being destroyed. Oh, I Sorry, uh, thanks for the show. Give everyone the updated inventory for the equipment. I do have a little list here of equipment that needs to be sent to the scrapyard. Uh, it's basically it's an old water pump that no longer works, and a, an old salamander heater from back in the it says seventies, but I think it's more like fifties. It's uh, all raw, so like kickstart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some bottle jacks and two air jacks and an old sandblaster. Stuff that I'd like to get off in the inventory. It's Declare surplus. That we can't use. It doesn't work. Um, so you want a motion to take it over to Lodi? Something? Yeah. Take it to the scrapyard and I'll bring you the money and the slip. That's part of that auto. We, we were, mm -hmm. They found this in the auto there. We, we're supposed to be doing this. So we'll Put start, it back we'll start doing it right new equipment. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that down. Okay. Is that it then, Jeffrey? Yep. Okay, thanks. John Clerk. Okay, for the month of January, we took in $481.50. 347 of it going to, went to the town supervisor, 134 to the state, and, and Ag and Market Health Department, and Ovid uh, for tags, dump tags. Also, we've had a problem with the um, computer for quite a while. We've had to have a tech guy in three times in the last month, and he said that we need to purchase a new computer. And he's hoping, because we can't even we can't even hook up to the DEC program right now. We're having it's just been a mess. DEC DEC just went to a whole new right. program, and so they said, oh, by the way, we got to have a new computer. And uh, we were hoping the one we had would work, but. I had to have um, Jeff Burns as our tech guy come in, and he tried to get hooked up to that, and that would, it just won't work. And the main computer keeps crashing, and he said, we need a new computer. You need two computers, or you need one for both? He's going to try, once we get a new computer for the main work that I do, to take that computer and redo the whole thing, and that he put it for the uh, EC program. If you can't, then everything will be hooked up to one computer. That's just the problem. She's, yeah. do, she's doing minutes or something. If I'm doing anything, and somebody comes by and analyzes, she's got to close it out and mm -hmm. so. But he's going to try to do what he can. Um, it's going to cost around a thousand dollars. He's done. Um, he's looking on state bid for a computer for us to get Windows Seven instead of Eight. Thank you. And um, Amen. <laughs> so he said, by the time he gets done with everything, it's probably going to be around a thousand dollars. And I can't. And Chuck's been in the office quite a bit lately and seeing my computer crash, and I can't. I can't work. I'm like I need to work. So I want to let you know about that. And the tax report. Um, I'll just give you. Pay the town supervisor seven hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars eight hundred six. 
500000 has been sent to the Seneca County Treasurer's Office. Right now there's 287000 in the checkbook, so another check will be going to the county for 200000 And we've collected $1,576,965. And we're only a couple hundred dollars over last year, so we're pretty much where we were last year. Any questions for Colony? Committees. So, if you've got anything more, or are you? Yeah, I've got four quick things. Uh, VITA program, first two weeks we did 30 taxes, four people worked. I have three people working with me now. Uh, on the county level, we have done a total of a little over 100 taxes, which saves every taxpayer approximately. Seventy-five to one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Um, the house numbering system. I sent. I've ordered the two hundred and fifty blanks. I've ordered uh, two hundred coals. We have some left, and some won't be needed because of mailboxes. Uh, I took to Kolonsky. Kolonsky. Oh no, not Kolonsky. Uh, that's that's, that's Ka Roger Koskin. Koskin. Uh, a list of one hundred and fifty-six addresses which are will complete the lakefront property. We can do another hundred with the money we have and I'm waiting for the fire departments to give me a list of where they want to go next. Um, uh, just a matter of interest to anybody in the community, Tom Reed will be speaking at the Interlake and Sportsman's Club. <coughs> Tom is our South Seneca Sportsman's Club. Um, Tom is our uh, Representative in Congress, and you will be speaking on February 23rd, 23rd, Sunday, Sunday 23rd, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And I have a question, have we heard anything more on the energy audit? I called uh, a couple weeks ago, and um, they, they're working on it right now. Um, I really thought I'd have an answer, I mean, uh, results. Tonight, but um, but they are working on it. They're just on their desk. <coughs> talk to the guy. And he says your town cover is in my desk, and it's the next one on the list. So um, this did. What's that mean? Had to come up here and look at it? Yeah, I've done all that. They're just tabulating everything and formalizing it. All and they'll give it to us. So I I don't want to say next month. I I'd like to say next month, but I, I, it should be next month. But um, okay. but they're working on it. They're working. <coughs> It's in their basket, and then the, we're the next on the list, so we should be should be done this week or next week or two. Okay. Stay tuned on that one. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Sure. Uh, <coughs> Gary, you are next. Do you have anything to talk about? Um, got Shane Bishop here. He's going to close up look at local politics tonight. Um, we have a quilt over here that the raffle is going to be for benefiting the Lakeview Cemetery. And we had a committee meeting at my house highway like two weeks ago and went over a few things. Um, talked about the fuel tanks down there and we threw a couple ideas around. The biggest problem is the gasoline tank. Gary, could you speak up just a little for us? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> you have to turn our way. Uh, the gas tank down in the, down there. At the highway barn. Yeah. That's, so that's the big that's issue. That's the big thing. With Jim yeah. or with um, Chad. Besides the, we talked about next time we'll get a, a diesel pickup. Resale's better on them. And Jeff is talking about he'd like to get rid of the two tractors and get one for his next major purchase. Oh, for diesel, the gas tractors. Yes. Go to diesel on the tractors. Yep. yep. Okay. And he's also looking into if we could somehow, with the state, be able to buy gas at the gas station uptown and do away with the tank. And the only problem with that is the on road sales tax. If we can get that back from the state somehow. The county. Was doing that for a while, so yeah. There's a way that they get a card, a credit card, yeah. they can use. They, well, but they were doing, it, but they they've done into um, 
is the only way we could tie into the school system. School don't have a tank in there, like all their tanks. We, we, all we, tanks we are talked open. about that too. All tanks are open. Yeah. They're like in some no tanks anymore. Maybe going in with a. We talked about maybe talk contacting the village, going in with them with a fueling station, and maybe the <coughs> school could get in on that too. But I was checking with a couple of the other towns in uh, Griffith and Lodi. Got a key pump. They have a key pump. Yeah. That would be another option. Long way to go. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, if you get rid of the 1968 tractor, which is the gas tractor, and you do away with the gas and the pickup, you're basically talking for gas for chainsaws. Chainsaws and, and weed eaters, right? Weed eaters Tam and tampers and stuff like that, where if you got two five-gallon cans... And do the air? You know. <laughs> Who cares? Is there still a few pumps over in Germansburg? I don't believe Earhart has any. Um, no, I used to have them. Yeah, that's all yeah. gone. That's all torn out. That whole area uses their school system. Fire yeah. department, village. They yeah, all they they'll tap in the school. They got the up case stuff to keep up. System. Yeah. Maybe, maybe another option. What's that? Going over there? See if we could go yeah. over there. I, I could. Maybe. But let's face it, the Interlake is kind of eventually have the same. Issues we have sewer, right. right. Every That's town in the county is what, in the face of it. What, what's Ray do for gas? Let's pick up right now, you know? They got pumps down there by the town. By the oh, they do that one? Okay. That's a police, it's a police car. Fire police car. Police car. All right. I checked it out the other day. Hey, That's all I have to do. What's their problem with the gas part of it? Just explosion at this point? Well, it? the hose could actually go inside the building. Somebody took on the end of it, and they don't want that. Um, we basically put it in and installed the vents and everything to the code, but the county came in and said, no, no. They want you to shorten the hose, I think that's what Chuck said. <laughs> Not necessarily. They came up with a whole laundry list of items that need to be addressed. Emergency cutoff switches. Yeah. Uh, and and we started this because we wanted to cover them up keep the moisture contraction and expansion from putting water and everything. And now it's led up to this. Fuel oil tank for the heating of the barn is fine. And diesel, the diesel is fine. Just a gasoline tank. So we Gasoline's a touchy just one. want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Gary. Uh, Jeffrey, you're in the next. Yeah, I think uh, leading off of uh, Gary's report, uh, that's what we got to do. We got to look at our options. A few ideas out there, and we'll just keep exploring that. Go forward one way or another. Mm -hmm. I think the best, best, one of the best solutions is to convert all the diesel. That makes a lot of our liabilities go. Right? Alrighty. Um, next. Sure. It was offered at the last meeting that. Somebody from the public was going to present a podium for the COVID use on this floor. Okay, I haven't seen that, but regardless, I feel that uh, once a year we're supposed to look through some of our procedures in our manual. And one of those uh, procedures I'll be doing is enhancing the meeting guidelines to make it a little bit better and clearer uh, for anybody to understand the future. Next item, last month, COVID's website has two AY health network. Uh, info is uh, planning our website without any of our knowledge, I think. I mean, I didn't get to get the notice of that. Um, and not that uh, I'm, it's good or bad one way or another, this is what's on our website, but I feel that uh, the board should have some kind of oversight or control over what gets planned there in the future. So I would like, I will probably entertain a short motion to I get long to fit and eventually put it in our procedure manual. Other than that, I'm done. Okay. Thanks, Jeffrey. Um, Dwayne? Mm -hmm. uh, over the past couple of months, uh, the personnel committee, which is Chuck and myself, has had a lot of conversations with some interesting people. <laughs> Here we uh, are. <laughs> the uh, last month, I was uh, selected uh, for the interview and, and follow up on references for the uh, town assessor position. 
And once that was done, we started working on the uh, uh, search for town justice. Uh, we had five people apply. Uh, we narrowed that down to three to interview. We interviewed them last week. And one of the problems we're having is that we had some really great people apply for it. It's pretty hard to, to pick, but we've got to do it. I'd like to see it done soon. Uh, uh, the, uh, we followed up this week on references, and uh, at the end of today's meeting, I'd like to see us have a, an executive session to discuss it and, and come back with a recommendation for what we suggest. And uh, if it can't be done tonight, it's too late. You know, I, I'd like to see us have a special meeting to get take care of so we can move forward on that because they have to have training. And right, we got to give them a school because the school window <coughs> was very, very small. Just yeah. got to go. They got to go in March. Okay. Or they don't go. Yeah. That simple. Good, good point. That's the only thing that. Uh, That's all you got. Yeah. Okay. We'll go down to the supervisor. Everybody got a copy of the final deal audit there. Um, we discussed that. We, we did all of our books earlier tonight, too. And we read into it. And any questions from anybody that wasn't at the presentation? Or was there a brief presentation? Oh, okay, all right. I want to give you an explanation of the one in the government system. It indicated there was money hanging around. I talked to the judge and to the clerk. What it basically is are people who didn't come back and get their uh, bail money. Bail money. And it's been sitting there, some of it since was Raymond, uh, some of it, uh, <coughs> most of it was Raymond. Um, the judge is currently, the judge and Angela are currently looking into why, or how, what's the procedure, what do we do with the money, and how do we clear it out? We got to turn it back into the state, don't we? Because I was. Because I have my hand out there too, saying cha ching, but then I'm not they said sure no, whether it has to go to the state or whether part of it goes to the state or I mean, so they're looking into it. So that's that's what the audit thing said was that there's what twenty some hundred dollars. That's a lot better than when Liz was doing it. I'm picking on Liz around, but it was it was like ten, twelve thousand dollars when she was when she when she passed away. We had a bank account over at Tompkins County that I ran on. It was. Like ten, twelve thousand dollars in that account, and we're like, uh, most, where does this come from? You know, most of them are you have to go back and find out who the money was for, and right, right, what year it is, and it's, it's all documented. Contact them again, yeah, you know, it's all documented. Probably it's, half of them are dead, and right, I moved out of the everybody. I, I assume they moved out of but that's where that money came from. Yep. <clears throat> Any other? Yeah, what comments on the audit? In general, I was pretty happy with the court. Uh, yeah, I like they come. I like everything. I mean, <coughs> no glaring things. There was just little housekeeping things we got to tighten up a little bit. Um, yeah, well, most of them are kind of on your way to being looked at. Right, and I, I say most of them are they're going to be fixed here in the next couple months. So um, yeah. So I nope. got one question. Uh, once we come up with a fix-it plan, uh, does this audit group review our proposed fixes? They don't. They just left their recommendation. That's the recommendations there, right? Okay. I needed to know that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, let's see. Awesome. Um, Truthburg Fire and Ambulance contracts. Pat, did you have a chance to look at these? Yep. Yeah. The same as last year. Same as last year. <laughs> hey, yeah. Are they late this year? Well, it should have been done last month on a slide for the budget. We, the timing just wasn't right. Yeah, they well, they couldn't get them to us for our last board meeting, so it's not our fault. No. But the numbers are good. Can they get the number to you when you were budgeting? Okay. Yes. Okay. That's the correct number. Let's look at the last year. Did we do, uh, you know, like